Alex, and welcome back to a Resident Evil Code Veronica X. When we last left off, uh, we were pretty much about to end the game. So, let's go back into the seek. Actually, what we can do now... Yeah, actually, what we I think we can turn the power off now. Um, and then we can get a couple of items that we should be able to grab. Now, the game is going to basically vomit tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of herbs at us, but that's okay. Okay, right. I might make a save towards... Should I make a save towards the end of the game? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Um, right, so we need to go back through here. Yeah, or do we? Actually... Yes, yes we do. Okay, cool. Let's go and go through here. We need to go back through the secret door. We need to grab a key. The bio has a key, I believe, which is the key that opens this door, question mark? Yes. Yeah, because now we turn the power off. I don't think we can use the, uh, um, what do you call it? Um... Um, 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 the elevator. There we go. Takes the brain a while to work. It's uh, very late. <laughs> it's very late. I've been at work all day. But I want to get this game done. God damn it. Oh, I never noticed the barrel of the shotgun. Glows red when you fire it. Interesting. All right. Uh, I had no idea about that. Hey, zombies. Yeah, not the most efficient way to kill the zombies, but we don't care. Look at that though, five, six, what was that? He took six shotgun shells to put down. What a waste of shotgun shells. Not that it matters. Installation stopped, installations, oh, Dark Alliance. Oh shit, I forgot I downloaded that like ages and ages ago. Uh, right, let's go through here. Dark Alliance, that's the new Dark Alliance and apparently it's a giant load of Shit, so I'm not going to bother playing it, to be honest. Uh, I actually really like the OG Dark Alliance 1 and 2 on the original Xbox. Um, I recently brought it for the Switch as well, which, if you ask me, was a very, very, very overpriced game for what it was. But, hey, there we go. Anyway, shotgun shells, lovely, lovely. Yeah, very disappointed with Dark Alliance, to be honest. It was really not that good. So now we have the key. We can go and get... Oh my god, we could potentially do this really quickly. Uh, we've got so many freaking items now. Uh, we could go down there. We could go down here, actually, and just grab the stuff down here. That is actually true. That's something that we could do. Um, there's herbs here. Oh, my God. We're going to have to be careful because there's so many herbs to pick up here. It's freaking ridiculous, man. So, we've got those. I think there's some shotgun shells down here, too. Ah, there's also a report there, which, well, be rude if we didn't uh, read that, wouldn't it? Right, let's flick the old switch. Grab the wing. Lovely. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay. Uh, do we even... Yeah, what the... Shotgun shells there. Yeah. There's some handgun bullets as well, but like, I mean, come on. This game really does give you uh, just a ridiculous, insane amount of ammo. It's, it's unbelievable. Towards the end. So, Code Veronica report. After many long years of research, I finally identified the inheritance, the inheritance element that administers the intelligence of man. I even succeeded in manipulating the absolute value of intelligence artificially by recomposing the base alignment of the element. I then sampled the gene of our great ancestor, manipulated its element, and then implanted it into the unfertilized egg of a surrogate mother. What I didn't expect was that twins, a boy and a girl, were born. The boy had higher intelligence than normal, but not high enough for him to be considered a genius. 
However, the girl had unmatched intelligence that easily allowed her to be classified as a genius. She was exactly what I had been looking for, the revival of our great ancestor. I already determined their names, the girl's name, Alexia, and the boy's name, Alfred. I'm certain that Alexia will elevate the name of the Ashford family to the to extreme glory, Alexander Ashford. Yes, I mean, was Alexander really the failure that the two kids thought he was? I don't think so, to be honest. Anyway, let's go through here. Now, the main reason I don't think he was quite the failure they make him out to be was he did engineer uh, Alexia and Alfred. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. Even if uh, Alfred wasn't exactly uh, what he wanted. Let's just say that much. Uh, uh, let's just drop all the health down for now. We will get ourselves geared up and ready before the final showdown. Because we need to get geared up before the final showdown. Is there anything we need? Uh, I suppose just for shits and giggles we can put the shotgun back and grab the... Um, the ammo behind the painting because of course we missed that uh, oh, we got to do it here haven't we yeah go to use yeah they like using the shotgun as a key in this game weapons as key to be honest it's kind of strange but you know all right give me the goods 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 there's something else here yeah could it be like a massive stack of ammo for the grenade launcher. Should we just run around with a grenade launcher? Would that be more fun than the shotgun? Uh, I mean, we, we have got to be a little bit careful. We're, we're down to 36 grenade rounds. And, well, that brings us up to 41... 50... 51. So, yeah, in, in total, we do have nearly 70 grenade rounds. Hmm. Yeah. We'll keep the acid rounds for the final boss. We'll have some fun with these. Why not? Let's put the shotgun back. And in fact, we'll leave the shotgun there. Yeah, we don't need the shotgun. We've. I mean, we haven't even touched the submachine guns. Bloody hell, man. Alright, well, let's go get the two jewels. Jewels. And uh, I got excited today. Uh, today is the 3rd of August. It is a Tuesday. And I got a message from Hermes saying my package um, might arrive today. Hello, Claire. Claire? Is that you, Claire? Chris? No. The door won't open. Hey. Is Steve with you? <laughs> Steve? <laughs> Steve. Listen, Claire. Steve didn't make it. You have to get out of here immediately. Can you unlock it from the inside? system somewhere if you activate it all the electronic locks might be deactivated <laughs> electronic locks you say okay you've taken the security file um wow wow the game has crashed yep the Xbox has literally hard crashed. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Wait. I took the batteries out. Has that sparked the old girl back to life? Because, Jesus, that would be really annoying. 
Nope. Oh my god, I did it. Okay. Managed to bring the game back to life there. <laughs> okay. Never seen that happen before. Anyway, we've got the really cool music playing now. The heroic save uh, save the day music from Chris. Excellent. Yeah, so um, I actually... Uh, I've, I've been dabbling with X, original Xbox emulation and it's, uh, it's cool. Um, it's coming along, you know, uh, and the emulator itself is a humongous pain in the penis to set up, but it's not ready yet. It is, I, I think it's fair to say, nowhere near ready yet. Uh, give it another year, maybe, and we might be getting somewhere. So recently it was my birthday and uh, I got some some money and I thought I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to spend a what some people say insane amount of money on a fully modded original Xbox and I was hoping that was going to be here today and it's not just modded. Um, it has all the delicious mods, you know, that you'd expect bigger hard drive ability to rip everything. Uh, to the hard drive and be played off the hard drive, fully chipped, uh, tons and tons of emulators installed on it, and the crown jewel of the thing is that it has a built-in HDMI mod, uh, and it has a region-free BIOS, oh, replaced um, the guy that uh, did it for me, has replaced all the capacitors. Uh, it's a really nice Xbox, and only a fucking idiot like me would spend that kind of money on one. Um, right, so we have that, we have that. But, you know, if I didn't do YouTube, I probably, almost definitely, would not have bought it. But because, oh, hello. The interest of uh, making things easy to record. Hell yeah, baby. And now there's just one more console that I really want to get modern tricked right out. And that is a Dreamcast. However, the modifications that I want for the Dreamcast to get one fully tricked out and modded with everything. Yeah, you're looking at £400. It's a lot of money for an old console, and yeah, but I think it would be good for the channel, so I will get one eventually, just, you know, not not today. I think most people would think you're having a brain hemorrhage when you're, when, when, when you say you would, uh, you're going to spend as much money as a brand new Xbox or PlayStation on a Dreamcast. Right, anyway. Enough about me gushing over mods, modded consoles. Let's do this. Remember this? This is a nice little carbon copy, isn't it? Yeah, we read earlier that they spent uh, quite a lot of money on time replicating their mansion into the Antarctic base. <sighs> and there's that creepy ass fucking music again. Let's take the music. Yeah, let's stop that shit. And we are going to throw this in here. A little bit like that. Lovely. And as we did before, we need to get the music box. And we need to go back into the other room. Like so. There we go. Right, what else now? Let's go stick this in here. A little bit like that. Lovely. Now, but ah, let's think about this. Right, let's just go up here for now. Get this done. Um, yeah, let's go up here. It's terrifying stuff, Chris. Terrifying. Now this bit's a little bit different, yes. And finally, finally, 
we have the key that we need the wings for. Yes, lovely. And we actually need this for the end game. So let's go plonk that in there. Lovely jubbly. I don't think there's really anything else we can do in here. This this kind of reminds me of the room from the Trevor. Uh, the, what the Trevor? The Spencer Mansion. You know that room where uh, Rebecca Chambers gets attacked by the hunter and you have to run back up here to save her. Reminds me of that room, actually. Uh, we're going to grab these herbs. I'm going to start <laughs> combining these bad boys together. Now, we want to take some... Um, blue herbs actually to the final boss with us because she can poison you she's a little bit annoying and it's it it yep it's a thing she can do okay so now we have everything we came here for we can finally get the f out so we've got the card and that Wonderful music starts playing again. Oh, wonderful music. Uh, should we gear up for the last boss? I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay. This music, though. It gets you fucking pumped, son. It really does. Uh, actually... Uh, actually, let's go use the key card. Kind of a bit of a pain in the ass. Let's go use the key card and then come back. Now, there are closer item boxes and save rooms, but they're in different areas. And I'd rather have my save room in the same area. Uh, my item box and my save room in the same area. It's kind of a bit of a pain the way they've split them up like that. Yeah, let's go activate the thing. Go activate the thing. Go beep the boop. As Jimmy would say. And then get ready to get out of here. Uh, well, that's the escape elevator. We've got a lot of zombies here, but we don't really need to worry about them. Bloody zombie bastards. Oh, God, guys, there's so many original Xboxes that, you know, I want to do. When everyone had a PlayStation 2, uh, I had a Dreamcast and an original Xbox. Actually, it's that we want to use. That's going to free up a space, isn't it? Yeah. Now we can leave here. Yeah, that's it. We don't want to use the card yet, because if we use the card yet, we trigger um, the events. And one cool thing about the OG Xbox as well, when it's modded, uh, is you can force it to run games in progressive scan or ATP and you can force it to run games in 720p as well a lot of people don't realize that with the original Xbox yeah before the 360 uh, long before the 360 actually eh, let's go back to the let's go back to the main uh, the last proper save room um, the Xbox did high definition games. 720p did a lot of them as well. The PlayStation 2 literally had a handful as well. Uh, but the OG Xbox had quite a few games that could be played in 720p. It was insane how powerful the original Xbox was uh, compared to the other two systems <laughs> that were out. I mean, you know, the GameCube is pretty powerful. It could hold its own, you know. But the OG Xbox was a fucking monster. And, uh, you know, it was quite fun back then, you know. When all different consoles had their unique selling points. Microsoft's first foray into the console, you know, gaming uh, space was... We don't really have that much, exclusive-wise, but here's a really fucking powerful machine. Uh, and then, obviously, later on, they became uh, known for creating the online gaming system or services that we now take for granted. Yeah, the original Xbox did that. Microsoft did that. You know. Um, 
I mean, yeah, Sega had uh, um, their online service, which I think if the Dreamcast had been more successful, probably would have become something pretty nice, actually. Um, maybe competitors to Xbox Live. I mean, from an online standpoint, Nintendo's still sucking its fucking thumb. I mean, you still can't message people. Uh, friends and stuff on on the switch and uh, it's not even go into how completely pathetic Nintendo's online system is um, and yeah even on the PlayStation 2 you had uh, online games but you know they they weren't the 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 system wasn't in the same league as, as Xbox Live uh, right, what should we take with us? I mean, I guess we've got to take the Magnum, haven't we? Uh, yeah, we'll take the Magnum, and I think we'll mix up another herb mix. I don't think we're going to need it. Whereas these days, you know, you look at the, the, the Xbox and the PlayStation, um, and they're basically the same system, you know? It's not as exciting as it used to be. Uh, I mean, I do like to buy all of the systems, but that's because I'm an idiot. Pr what am I missing here? Do we have to pick up another item? I don't remember. Oh, kind of. We mm, should we? Drop now? No, I don't even think we need to drop a save, to be honest. Don't think we need to. Yeah, I'm just an idiot with money. I really am. When it comes to technology, anyway. Okay, now I think we're just about good to go. I was telling somebody at work earlier that I've just bought an original Xbox. He's like, oh, okay. It's like, uh, I just brought an OG Xbox. So, right. That's so old, though. Yeah, it is. But it's fucking awesome, too. Right. Um, now, we need to go flick. Oh, why are we here? Uh, we need to go this way. I was getting a little bit turned around here, you know, this place is quite mazy. Yeah, and then we need to come up here. Okay. So many weapons unused. I mean, how we didn't even touch the submachine guns. Um, yep. Didn't even touch the submachine guns. Right, let's go trigger the explosives. Such a cool part of the game. Really is. Right, be seeing you zombies a little bit later on. Now, I love this room. This room is so cool. And this fucking music, man. This room is so awesome. Hey, guys. Boom. Oh, baby. Two for one. Grenade launcher in this game is odd. It's like this weird cluster bomb launcher. It's definitely not a 40 millimeter grenade launcher as we know it. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a strange thing. It's actually a green herb there uh, in case you need it for some reason. But we don't need it. Self-destruct safety re uh, lock release system. Please enter the security code. And it is, of course... Uh, Veronica and this always really trips me out because it's in alphabetical uh, what are we looking for uh, 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 or would be if I didn't miss the N out Yeah, that's better. That's better. 
Right, now we have set certain things in motion. The wheels of justice have just started to turn, and there is no way of stopping them. All door locks have been released in order to help expedite the evacuation process. Love this. Oof. Oh hell. Yeah. Those massive bloody vats of chemicals that have just started to mix together. Oof. Right, okay. That should be good. Let's go. Let's go see if Claire's managed to free herself. The linear launcher. Yes. Okay. Turn the key clockwise simultaneously on three. Got it. Oh yes. If you can't get a rocket launcher, One, two, a rail gun will do. She's so cool. She's actually a really cool tyrant. I'll keep her busy. Just go for the emergency elevator. Chris, but I can take care of this. Just go. You have to make it. Don't die on me. No promises. Whoop. Right, now we need to act quick, otherwise Claire's gonna get slapped. That's okay. Acid rounds, baby. Ugh. Look at it. Oof. Yeah. Oh, dude. It looks awesome. It's freaking awesome. Okay, let's start going heavy on this thing. Let's get that magnum working for us. Now these little annoying shits are going to jump out at us and do some damage. Uh, really annoying beasts. But, you know, we're just going to kind of... Oh god, we're really injured. That's fine. Yeah, you just want to keep moving. This boss really ain't that hard. To be honest with you, at least not here anyway. We are getting knocked around a little bit, but that's fine. Now, acid, because as our friend Baza said, acid is really powerful against living things. Alright, let's check our health. You can, like, you know, shoot these little things in the these little bug things, but there's no point, man. They're just fucking annoying. I don't really do that much damage to you anyway. Come on, couple more shots. Couple more. Get up. There we go. Getting pretty nasty. Oof. Oh, yeah, baby. Ah, oh, she's so cool. Right, let's go get ourselves some firepower. Take the linear launcher. Now, you've got to say, you got to be honest with uh, Umbrella. They made some seriously fucking cool hardware. 
anti-BOW linear launcher, an advanced weapon developed to handle BOWs. Now, I'm not going to ruin anything uh, about Resident Evil 3 Remake, um, because, you know, there's some people that I know watch that haven't played it yet, but my fucking god. You like rail guns. Oof. Anyway, now this is kind of annoying. Trying to hit her is really difficult. Sometimes I just like manage to hit her straight away with one hit, and other times she's a bit of a git. Oh god, we missed. Um, she is going to keep hammering us as well, which ain't exactly fantastic. Now, there really isn't a lot to unlock in this game, sadly. You can unlock the linear launcher, like an infinite amount of ammo, but it's... I, yeah, it's not for the main game, sadly, as far as I'm aware. Let's get out of the fucking corner. There we go. Come on. We're going to die, aren't we? Oh, that was a hit. That was definitely a hit, you... Get. We're gonna use all of our health items now. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. What a mess. I'm pretty sure most of this is new for the X version. Can't quite remember the ending on the Dreamcast. This whole bit with Steve being taken away. Spoilers, by the way. I know this game's only like, you know, 21 Chris. years old. Well done, Chris. It turns out that Alexia's work wasn't much of anything. So now, the only thing left is revenge. Let her go, Wesker. You don't want her. Fine. Claire. Today's a good day. I came for Alexia, but killing you is even better. Sorry to disappoint you, but Alexia is gone. That's no longer a concern to me. I have Steve. The sound mix here is really bad. It's very hard to hear what they're saying All want to over the music. Say hello to my comrades. Kill. I don't know where you get your confidence, Chris. <laughs> I love that.
Just look at the power I've gained. Damn. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. God, I love Wesker. Magnificent, don't you think? Steady on, lad. Nice I don't care that the installation for Dark Alliance has stopped. In fact, oof. I'll go delete that. They like fighting around fire and hot things, really. Considering the final showdown is in a volcano. Kind of makes me think of that giant bloody hive of creatures in Resident Evil 4. We can shoot down from the ceiling and get loads of gems from. Hey, you know that I always keep my promises. <laughs> yeah, God. Well, that Harry is toast. Chris, promise me. Please promise that you won't leave me alone again. I'm sorry, Claire, but it's not over yet. There's still something we've got to do. You mean... Yeah, it's payback time. We've got to destroy Umbrella. Now, let's finish this once and for all. <laughs> I love that confidence. Let's go finish this once and for all with our oh, Harrier. Yes, let's go exterminate Umbrella. Yeah. <sighs> And there we go, guys. Code Veronica X completed again. Uh, does that game still hold up? Um, yes. <laughs> it's fucking Resident Evil. It's, uh, I mean, you know, yeah, it's aged a little bit. And there's so many different ways of playing this game, and there's no real 100% definitive version. They all have their pros and cons. I mean, this version's okay, but it certainly, you know, could have been done better. Let's just say that. And uh, Capcom had the perfect opportunity to remaster this game. Because in theory, this was next on the list. But no, we're getting a remake of Resident Evil 4. And I'll tell you what, I've been playing Resident Evil 4 again, and... It's a good game. It's loads of fun. I've been really enjoying it, but it's actually really, really starting to age. <laughs> I would say RE4 is starting to age worse than uh, these old tank control games. Uh, it's still a great game. It's still a lot of fun, but I'm ready 
for a remake of Resident Evil 4. Will they deliver or will they fuck it all up? Well, well, that remains to be seen. That indeed remains to be seen. Uh, I'm confident, you know, especially after Resident Evil 8 or Resident Evil Village, whatever you want to call it. Is, I mean, just looking at the castle and everything in that game, I'm hoping uh, that it is not going to be a first-person game. Uh, I'm also fairly confident that it won't be. I'm pretty sure it's going to be an over-the-shoulder like uh, the remake of 2 and 3. Pretty sure it's going to be exactly that. Um, I would like to see them add a lot of unlockables. Because I like unlockables. I really like unlockables. And that's one of the things that really hurts this game, I think. Um, you can unlock the infinite rocket launcher. Which is actually fairly difficult to do. However, I, I'm pretty sure with a bit of patience I can do it. Uh, I might try and actually do that uh, next time I have a holiday. Will I record it? Uh, I don't know. I might record it, maybe, possibly, um, if I ever did it. I'm not going to promise I'm going to do it, because I make a lot of promises of games that I'm going to go back and redo extra modes and things, and I just, I don't have the time, you know. I'm not one of these people that does YouTube full-time and can just, you know, throw thousands of hours uh, at, at these projects. I got to, especially these days, be very careful and, and wise with what I, I choose to pick because um, you know even doing a video every day uh, one video a day uh, is actually really not easy anymore uh, but you know I would like to do some special videos and things but you know time as I get older it just is not there um, but yeah, it would be nice to try and unlock the rocket launcher and have a look at battle mode, which I've heard battle... I've played a bit of battle mode before. It's very hard, but with anything with Resident Evil, it's only hard because I haven't played it much. Uh, you know, I remember everyone saying Hunks missions and stuff like that on Resident Evil 2 Remake uh, are hard. And they are. Yes, absolutely they are. But... As with anything, you know, you put enough time into it, practicing it, and you get better. So, I'm fairly confident I could probably do it. The only thing that is frustrating with this particular game is you have to get through the entire game without saving, apart from when you transition to the Antarctic. Not allowed to use an F8 spray, which, uh, that's not hard to be honest and you're not allowed to uh, I think you have to do it in, a, in four and a half hours so to spend four hours doing a run and then blow it that's pretty bloody painful if I'm honest um, but this get every time I play this game I, it shocks me at just how it's not that hard you know it's. I always think of Resident Evil Code Veronica as being the hard one. Uh, and that is true, again, if you're not experienced with the game. But every time I play this, I'm just surprised at actually how easy this game actually is. But if you're giving yourself, like, time pressure and not letting yourself save and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> well, that's different, isn't it? Um, but anyway, I don't know what time we're going to have. There were some periods where this game was paused for extended amounts of time and I love that background I fucking love that background D rank 15 saves 15 saves really number of retries did we retry I mean I've played this over the course of what like three weeks so I can't really remember but 10 hours 41 so we have to knock off five hours and no six hours and 11 minutes and um 15 saves because i don't think your save antarctica save counts 
Maybe it does. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Resident Evil Code Veronica. Great game. Black Sheep of the series. Well, actually, that's Resident Evil 6. But this is seen by a lot of people as the Black Sheep of the original trilogy. Uh, it's different, sure. But, you know, the Ashfords uh, are really good enemies. They're really good. Um, they hold up very well, actually. They, they really are creepy. And you actually do get a tyrant in this game of sorts as well of course you get uh, alexia when she's fully mutated and even in a lot of new resident evil disease days you don't really get a tyrant so hmm. trying to think of other enemies salazar was a uh, or lord sadler from resident evil 4 was actually really good he was really good actually thinking about it um, most of the side characters from Resident Evil 5 are just forgettable. Uh, same with 6. The Bakers were good in 7, but 7... 7 is just an odd game in general. Um, Resident Evil 8 had some great enemies, had some great characters in it. But... It's kind of like a different... It's a whole different thing, really. Um... It's a shame we never got uh, Wesker's sister, really. We got her for one game, and then it's kind of alluded that she survived. I think in the bad ending she survived. Oh god, I can't even remember um, Resident Evil Revelations 2 that much. We're going to have to fix that. So what's coming up next? Well, we're going to play a game that was gifted to me. Uh, and we're going to play a game that I should have played before but I never have hmm I'll drop a hint it's Resident Evil with swords at least that's the way it's always been described to me uh, it's a very old game series and as I said it's a game series that I've always 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 wanted to play but for some reason I never did. I don't know why. I have no idea why <laughs> I never played it. But I'm really looking forward to getting into it. So, anyway guys, that's Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.